The Road to the Final promo is going to be coming out today at 6pm UK time on Friday and in this video we're going to be taking a look and talking about what's going to be happening to the market. Is there going to be some panic selling today at 6pm? Also what's going to be happening on Saturday, Sunday and also possibly next week as we do see a little bit of talk of Black Friday that is going to be coming at the end of this month, end of November. So is that something we should be thinking about? Make sure you guys do watch right until the end of the video so I do answer absolutely all of your questions before you do come down below and also make sure that you guys are subscribed also with notifications on so when i do make a video about black friday also any other market crashes you are informed and you are prepared so just make sure that you are subscribed and you'll definitely be all good so getting straight into this video now when we hear the word market crash we all want to make sure that we are not going to be losing coins sometimes losing coins in fifa just happens but it's always best if we can try and avoid it and the reason we are talking about it now is because Road to the Final is an absolutely incredible promo. There could be some absolutely insane cards. For example, if we do get Road to the Final Alfonso Davies, that is one extremely hyped card you cannot even imagine. Bayern Munich card, plus already he does have an absolutely incredible meta gold base card. So you can imagine if he does get a few upgrades on that and Bayern Munich are likely to do so with their record in the Champions League and the general way they are playing. They are champions of Europe right now. Now, they are definitely one of the favorites, definitely, definitely up there. So this card is going to be maybe close to a million coins, maybe even more than that. Definitely hyped. Also, possibly a Europa League road to the final, Renato Sanchez. Just any cards like this, if they are going to be hyped meta cards with the chance of them getting upgrades, this is definitely going to be bringing a lot of attention. A lot of people want to be getting these cards. A lot of people like to trade with them, invest in them. There's going to be a lot of that. And if you do see your favorite player getting in here, it is sort of a very fun card to get so I do believe there could be some selling people will sell their teams because they want to get this card and on top of that there is going to be panic selling and with this promo there's definitely going to be all eyes on this this is Champions League this is the biggest European competition everyone's going to be interested with the loading screens there wasn't really too much promo I do believe because people are still investing in Thursday flips people still know the market is going to be going up on Thursdays and it did all cards sort of above 100k Werner did really well Rashford did well and there were also a few other cards Furland Mendy the ones that we did invest in I've sold those already I do just have one Rashford I'm going to be selling but apart from that it's a really good position right now to have all of your coins available which means you're fully liquid and the reason for that is because the market could definitely go down there might be a lot of panic on Friday maybe even onto the weekend it is going to overlap flow over as well foot champion right now isn't really the most hyped thing in my opinion after the really bad team of the week not really people are motivated they are kind of like down I don't think a lot of people got good rewards at all so maybe some people are going to be missing out on foot champions that does decrease the demand for all of these gold meta cards possibly they are just going to be trying to be on the menus they are going to be buying and selling cards so that does mean there is going to be a lot more people trying to invest in this and that could generally it does lead to this year we have seen it a lot of people People losing coins so you do need to be careful I wouldn't necessarily say sell your whole team but I do think around now the market might be at one of its highest points for the gold cards before it does start dipping off because we are going to be seeing selling we're gonna see panic selling maybe a small recovery but it's gonna be a bit lower than what it was maybe today or yesterday and then this is going to keep on happening with sort of each panic that is going to make it go down the spike up is gonna be a little bit less and then that's just gonna keep on declining to declining and with Black Friday panic around the corner it's not really a good look but this is going to be depending definitely on what sort of cards do get released if we do get the really hyped ones then I do think there is a high chance of this happening but maybe if Road to the Final isn't up to the standards that we generally expected then maybe this isn't really going to be affecting the market too much but I do think EA have been pretty good with their card selections most likely it is going to be pretty good so I would advise to maybe downsize your team so that means 
means that maybe if you've got an Mbappe, someone like that, like a huge card, or even like a Werner or a Rashford, maybe go ahead and sell them and go for a cheaper card. If you have an untradeable card, even if he's not as good, go ahead and use it. For example, I had Inform Kimmich in this team. I went ahead and sold that and just got myself a Goretzka for 10,000 coins. What can go wrong? He can just go to this card. That's the worst that can happen. I've got untradeable Sane, untradeable Werner, untradeable Bruno Fernandes. You should try and build an untradeable team for now. Even if it means you're not placing the best in weekend league, I do think that's going to be a better thing for you because this is the point where gold cards could seriously start going down. Obviously, this isn't going to be happening all at once, so you don't need to be suddenly scared that the market is going to be crashing, crashing down. It is still going to be happening at a fairly slow rate, so you are going to be good for the moment, but I just want to make this video to make you guys aware. Tomorrow, we're most likely going to be seeing some panic selling. It could be an opportunity to buy some SBC fodder if it does go too low and it does get at a really nice price, possibly some out of packs cards as well. But you do really want to be looking at flips, holding for no longer than around 12 hours, 16 hours, I would say. If you hold too long for around two to three days, I do think the market is going to be slowly declining, but there's still going to be that possibility to flip but myself as well with these 2 million coins once I sell the Rashford around 2.3 million I'm definitely going to be cautious of where I put my coins and making sure that I do not keep for long because we are entering sort of a state that is going to be maybe a little bit volatile it's definitely you are able to trade but it's going to be a lot more difficult and it might be a little bit harder period in ultimate team right now that is going to be coming the next week or two but we're gonna have to see I'm definitely very excited for road to the final and I cannot wait to see what sort of cards we are going to be getting that is going to be an opportunity to trade 100 thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time